Get to know the current political issues, the real stories behind the headlines. Get interactive. My Politics with Art Barry, only here on My TV Cebu. Good evening, my TV viewers. Once again, welcome to our weekly show, My Politics. This is your host, Art Barrett. Our guest this evening is our Lady Mayor from one of the municipalities of uh, Cebu, our neighboring municipality, a Lady Mayor, the um, Municipal Mayor of uh, Cordoba, Cebu, Mayor Marie Therese. Si Tui Chu. May gabi e Mayor Chu and thank you for uh, giving us your very hectic schedule of uh, being our guest uh, this evening. May gabi e Sir Art, thank you for having me here also in your show. It's a great pleasure, Mayor. <laughs> okay, now Mayor, um, this is your uh, first term as Mayor of uh, of the, the municipality or the second term? Second term, sir. A ah, second term. Okay, yes. sorry. <laughs> okay, but you are the first lady mayor. Yes, sir. Uh, of uh, the municipality, <laughs> and coming from a political family also. And the youngest. The youngest. Okay. Now, <laughs> so mayor, far, so uh, far. a lot of people now are asking, now considering that this particular big uh, infrastructure uh, uh, program of uh, the administration, the uh, Cebu Cordoba Express Link. And then, uh, of course, it would uh, bring much, much uh, economic development in your yes. municipality. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, we call it the third bridge. But okay, the, my, the third bridge. My father, the former mayor, okay. uh, wants to call it a Santo Nino bridge. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay, the Santo Nino bridge. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, this would bring in uh, much more economic benefits in your town. But the problem yes, is, is yes. your town prepared to... Uh, welcome a lot of uh, businesses uh, that will uh, come or abut sa inyohang munisipyo? Yes, we are really trying to prepare, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we must be ready for the influx of investments, influx of people. And um, now we are preparing our people also. Uh, aside from the infrastructure projects that mm -hmm. we have, um, we also give basic education to I our see, people and I skills see. training mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they will have the opportunities for um, finding jobs in the city uh, easier than now mm -hmm. so bale gi prepare gi namo tanan tanang aspects not only yeah, the, the last visit i, I had yes, with your yes. municipality was uh, eight months or so ago but uh, when i saw the in your home the road network they're also preparing. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, even from 2007, mm. when my father, secretary now, Adelino mm. Sitoy, was the mayor, he already opened many roads inside inside mm -hmm. the our mm -hmm. town. But um, for now, we are also preparing for the coastal roads. Mm -hmm. And now in uh, doing well, uh, okay. uh, we are constructing the Pilipog and Pilipog to Gabi Road mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the coastal. Okay. And then um, we have this plan all over um, this, the, the town. I mean, um, all coast, coastal roads will mm -hmm. be constructed mm -hmm. from Pilipog to Gabi to Buagsong to Dayas and back to Pilipog. Mm -hmm. Especially we have the hospital there. You have already your hospital? Yes. Um, Is it a provincial, a district hospital? Uh, it's a community hospital uh, it's a community just hospital. in Cordova, yes. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, yes. Uh, um, I, I think it was last year, there was a, uh, a news where in the Cebu Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and I think it's also a preparation of uh, more businesses that were coming in into your municipality. Um, uh, also a uh, satellite or a group positioning in your municipality? Mm, I, I guess so. We have also this Cordova Chamber of Commerce. And you have also the Cordova <laughs> Chamber of Commerce. Yes. <laughs> so it's a, the uh, anak of the Cebu Chamber of Commerce. And <laughs> yes, yes. Um, uh, they are, the businessmen in Cordova are doing well also. 
-hmm. uh, they've been preparing their uh, establishments to uh, cater many tourists mm -hmm, coming mm -hmm. in as we have expected during the um, opening of the third bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, in anticipation also, Mayor, in the opening of uh, this third bridge. So, how much is your uh, kining uh, precious ay mohang mga yuta? It will tremendously also increase? Mm, even this time, sir, it's mm -hmm. already increased the ah. market value. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so before speculators before we, we can buy 500 per square meter in Cordova, ah. but now? now it's already the minimum is 3,000 per, 3, per square meter. 3,000 per square meter. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But so, that is uh, even that is interior. How much more? Organic, yes, yes, the, the uh, commercial the area quite. will cost um, around 10,000 minimum per square meter. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So it, it gives us really a uh, big opportunity to um, grow our economy okay. in the town. Yeah, so uh, you're expecting also a lot of people that will converge or that will uh, migrate to your municipality. Uh, there are already many migrants uh -huh. in the municipality. But your land area mayor is still the same. Yes. So what yes. is your so next uh, project why, or next program? Yes, I heard before there was a big, big plan. In fact, prior to the uh, construction of uh, this bridge for a reclamation project. Yes, sir. That's what why. What is the status now? Yes, um, we accept the offer of SM uh -huh. to reclaim 1,500 hectares, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they plan to have a business park. Mm -hmm. And also, we have that share in the government, so mm -hmm. we plan to put up a uh, university school and um, big um, sports complex mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also hospitals will be there and our public college will also be there I see and we will make it a university oh wow <laughs> so, now uh, Mayor Cho the trouble time from your municipality to the city of Cebu would cut tremendously I think if that bridge will be operational um, from 22 to I think more than half so, people from uh, your municipality would prefer to visit Cebu than the other uh, neighboring uh, city, for that matter. Yes, <laughs> yes, we expect also that people will um, come in mm -hmm. to, our mani to our small town mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, we are preparing our town to make it a one-stop destination for I tourists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, well, uh, good for your town. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a very promising. Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Dynamic and promising. <laughs> <laughs> and how about the peace and order situation um, as of now? As of now, it's um, in control mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. not so many criminalities and not so many cases. And we already solve our problem about that cyber Mm -hmm. uh, problem. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, we are in control, mm -hmm. and the police are. Uh, they are working with us, with mm -hmm. the LGU, very well, especially this crisis. Mm -hmm. mm, so. Tourism is very much, much more also present in your municipality. Yes, mayor. yes, yes. We depend on tourism industry mm -hmm. and because Cordova has no big land for farm, for mm -hmm. agriculture. So we, on, we also have marine, marine resources. I see, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. But um, because of our marine resources, like our sanctuary, we have three sanctuaries. You created three sanctuaries? Yes, yes. Under your municipality? Yes, sir. We uh, have one. How, 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 much, oh, how is the sharing? Let's say if I am an operator of a beach resort, uh -huh. I have a, a sanctuary in my uh, resort. So you assign somebody to monitor the entry or uh, uh, the uh, guest that will... Uh, visit that particular resort? Yes, we have this um, world-class sanctuary. Uh, it's in Hilutungan Island. Mm -hmm. and But we gave the management to a uh, corporation. Mm -hmm. And we, we just received the monthly share, uh -huh, the, net, the net already, net of operational costs. Okay, so okay. we had, for that sanctuary, we have 400,000 mm -hmm. uh, monthly. Uh -huh. Monthly income. I see. Yes, and for other sanctuaries, we also monitor, like Nalusuan, uh -huh. Nalusuan Island. Um, we monitor the uh, entrance of mm -hmm. the guests. So you have your people assigned? We have also there, and mostly from the island of Hilutungan. Okay. 
Uh-huh. And aside from that, you also assign police or tourist uh, yes, police. Yes, yes, there, uh, there is. Also in that, in that uh, in, island. Yes, there are tourist police, uh-huh. policemen in that, in two islands. I see. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I used to die because I'm a, a uh, certified diver also of Paddy. And when I died, some one, I, I forgot the name of that particular island, no? belonging to your municipality, somebody will paddle and then will collect oh. uh, environmental fee, something like that. Yes, yes. So, but of course, they give receipt. No? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, 150, I think, or 100, and then uh, the 50 goes to the uh, local NGO, then uh, the other uh, the 100 goes to the municipality. Yes, yes, uh, sir. Yes, and uh, have you been to Hilitungan? I've been to Nalsoan, yeah. <laughs> you to try Nalsoan. Hilutungan. Better than, <laughs> for me, better than Nalsoan. <laughs> In fact, I was there uh, uh, three weeks ago. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. With uh, Congressman Raymond Mendoza. And yes, we, a good friend of mine. we have uh, also now the Alegria Sanctuary. Mm-hmm. Yes, just near the mainland. Mm-hmm. You, don't, you don't have to cross the island. Okay. Now, since your municipality is also a coastal municipality, and you're famous of Bacasi, no? Ah, so, yeah. Uh, you <laughs> it's in the Netflix. Bacasi Festival. <laughs> when I was in college, of course, uh, I used to, uh, uh, your brother, Arlie, used to yes, invite us yes. because we belong to the same school organization, uh, JCs. Uh, okay. uh, JCs, yeah. <laughs> in San Carlos. Uh, <laughs> yes, um, we still have that festival. Uh, it's originally called as uh, Dinagat Festival. Dinagat and Festival. My brother um, made it like this uh, Bakasi Festival. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I uh, make I make it as Dinagat again. Uh, Dinagat <laughs> Not anymore. Ba- but this time I'm planning to make it Dinagat, uh, Bakasi sa Dinagat. I see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I have to feature the, the Bakasi. Uh-huh, my, uh-huh. my brother was right. Uh-huh, okay. We have to fe- feature the Bakasi. <laughs> At this uh, time, uh, Mayor Chu, how much is your income aside from uh, the era that you got from uh, yes, uh, the national government? Everybody's thinking we are already in first class municipality, but we are still third class. Mm-hmm. So our era is um, around 120 to 150 million, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but our local sources, um, mm-hmm. we are uh, targeting 50 million. Wow, but definitely <laughs> after this. Uh, third bridge, you will climb up. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I guess uh, that will be realized in five years mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because we have this um, tax holiday for them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, for, for five years. And do you have already your comprehensive land use? Yes, we, ha- we do have. We do have, yes. Uh, in anticipation prior yes, to, the, yes, to yes. this bridge operation? Yes, yes sir. Mm-hmm. Um, we already uh, passed it to uh, Cebu province for mm-hmm. approval mm-hmm. and then later on for to national. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes, I see. We are well, ready. <laughs> yeah, with this small islet uh, passing or traversing the bridge, what are you going to do with that, uh, Mayor? Small islet. There islands. are a lot. Uh, if you look at the, the uh, uh, when, you, when you look at the Corba. Ah, the, there, there is one islet um, with to that, many uh, mangroves. Prior islet in uh, Shell Island. Yes, yes, carbon. yes. Tongo Island, ah. and there is one islet with um, mangroves. We plan to have a mangrove um, park. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. and um, we have this coming project, Mangrove Informa- Information and Propagation Center. Uh-huh. So we really uh, want to preserve our mangroves. I see. So aside from the 1,000 roses. 10,000, sir. <laughs> 10,000. Yes, you have sir. your mangrove park. We have 10,000 mangroves. Oh, okay, 10,000 mangroves. <laughs> so that's a good, a good indication yes. of the growing yes. municipality. Yes, sir. So our dear dear viewers, we'll discuss more of uh, the programs and projects of the municipality of Cordoba, particularly on water issue. After these reminders, don't go away.
Once again, welcome to our show. My politics, this is your host, Art Barrett. Our guest this evening is our Lady Mayor of the Municipality of Cordoba, Mayor Mary Therese Situechu. Mayor Therese, okay. Now, with the influx of a lot of businesses in your municipality after the operation of this third bridge, okay, the problem now is a very perennial problems, not only, not only in your city, mm -hmm. but likewise in the whole of Metro Cebu, is water. Mm. How do you address water problems in your, in your municipality? Yes, we are talking with many suppliers of MCWD, and we are also into the um, project of desalination plant. Mm -hmm. um, somebody will invest in our mm -hmm. town. Mm -hmm. So um, we're really looking into that aspect, sir. Um, we have to take care of the water supply, and not only the water supply, but also the electro electrical supply. Uh, okay, uh -huh. so are you still under the, uh, uh, what's this, um, uh, jurisdiction of MCWD, under the franchise yes, yes, of yes, MCWD? Yes, yes, Okay, uh, but the supply now is not that... Uh, no. It's not that efficient, not, yes, something yes. like that. <laughs> eh? Still lacking. It's still lacking, <laughs> okay. No, but... Since uh, you are surrounded by a body of water, and one of uh, the solution is to have a desalinated water or to put up desalination plant, is somebody offering your yes, municipality yes. for desalination yes, water? Sir, yes, for sir. Desalinated yes, water? yes. They okay. are offering. They already have uh, submitted their proposal to us, and mm -hmm. we already discussed this one with our project monitoring committee mm -hmm. and also with the uh, uh, project selection board. Mm -hmm. So we are in discussion I see, uh, I see. as to sharing also. Okay. Mm -mm. But at the moment, since you have this uh, perennial problem, what did you do with the with the uh, top hunsos or uh, the top guys in uh, MCWD? <laughs> so did you write a letter? Yes, yes, of course. And okay. uh, we also. Uh, uh, invited them to come mm -hmm. so they will see they will see the situation in Cordoba mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they know I know they know the situation and they know our needs okay how much is the population of your municipality uh, now it's um, growing 70,000 I see uh -huh. yes population okay uh -uh, and so then uh, the it's, households it's uh, quite mm -hmm. big and how many barangays in, uh, we have 13 barangays how much? In 13, 13, including the island. Oh, okay. We have one barangay that is an island, that is Hilutungan. Hilutungan, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, I so see. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's a small town, but with mm -hmm. big population. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> uh, Mayor Cho, that uh, Congressman Mendoza will be distributing dressed chicken and uh, sacks of rice to Hilutungan oh, uh, that's, people. Oh, that's good I to hear. <laughs> uh, Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Congressman. <laughs> They've yeah. been helping uh, Hilutungan people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. The, uh, they uh, uh, get employees from Hilutungan. Yeah. Uh, most uh -huh. of the people in uh, Nalsuan are from Hilutungan. Yes, yeah, yes. Uh -uh. Yeah. Okay. So they've been with us for many years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, the water problem now and then... Uh, uh, the peace and order, uh, the land area. So if you have this desalination plant, <coughs> excuse me, constructed in your municipality, so do you expect that water uh, prices in your municipality will go down compared to what is uh, being offered now with MCWD? Oh, uh, I cannot... Uh I cannot talk about that, that about the price because mm -hmm. I, I think they will also uh, supply to MCWD. Mm -hmm. So it's only for the uh, supply. I see. Yes, but for the price, I I uh. don't know much. <laughs> so but the source of uh, water from uh, MCWD that is fed to your town, where did they get the source from uh, the neighboring? Uh, municipality or city of Lapu Lapu. Yes, yes, but from the other municipalities, other towns, and ah, also the Lapu Lapu city, they have that um, uh, rock uh, supply, and uh, they also shared with us. So, uh, but it's up to MCWD mm. uh, how how the the supply what 
what to give in that how how much to mm. give in that municipality not um, by our <laughs> but there are also some private uh, water uh, supplier um, mayor too aside from the water refilling station ah. i mean those kanang mga tanke nga ikarga sa mga trucks or flatbed trucks oh uh, we have this um local local supplier but um they are not so with the uh, supplying of like MCWD, mm -hmm. but they are into um, uh, filtered water. Mm -hmm. Yes, so for drinking purposes. I see. Yes, mm -hmm. but they filtered the water. I see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. only for that, uh, mm -hmm. the, some locals also are using wells mm -hmm. like that, and then kanang puso. Okay. Uh oh, but but not so anymore this time. Uh, yeah, people uh -huh. are I know getting supply from MCWD, from MCWD. Uh, uh, that's why there are there is scarcity kay daghan na kaayo especially the, the, the yes the subdivisions uh -huh. we have many subdivisions mm -hmm. already in our town and that's why many people are already using yeah how, how uh, many subdivisions in your municipality uh, for now Karun, we have uh, mayor. around more than 10 more than 10 yes we have pocket subdivisions mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. not only big subdivisions I but see. we have pocket like um they have only 10 units per subdivision mm -hmm. so more or less around 10, 10 or, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay when uh, that particular project on uh reclamation was introduced uh, i think uh, five years back or more than five years so a lot of oppositions were uh, made, especially the marginalized fishermen or the marginalized yes, fishermen. Yes, yes, yes. So how do you address that they uh, in order to uh, uh, give and um, address their concerns also? Yes, they really were worried about that because they will be displaced. But um, of course, the reclamation will not be the total reclamable area. We just choose um, which area to be reclaimed mm -hmm, and that mm -hmm. is um, facing the Cebu City okay but while those areas that facing Bohol mm -hmm. we will preserve mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so um, we tried to uh, talk with our fish fishermen mm -hmm. and then uh, we asked what they really need okay. for their children and they told us that they need education for their children because their children also uh, don't want to be fishermen anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So SM gave that scholarship for their children, for college, and even from high school. So there are a lot of children already of fishermen uh, who already finished college. And this has been conceptualized for a long time already, uh, Mayor Therese, uh, the uh, project uh, finance or uh, project of SM conglomerate for the reclamation project so yes. uh, this will be realized when um hopefully they will finish all the papers the permits from pra and all in from the nr mm -hmm. next year mm -hmm. so they expect to start on uh -huh. 2022 okay mm -mm. so uh, it will really really uh, uh, be realized yeah? Yes, yes. So uh, you have already the permit from the Provincial Reclamation Authority? Yes. Long ago? Yes, okay. yes. So now it's with PRA. Mm. Mm. So the PRA, the former PAA. Uh, yes, okay. sir. Uh, so uh, Philippine, that's the, uh, uh, the regulatory body. Philippine Reclamation yeah, Authority. Yeah, Philippine Reclamation yes, Authority. Of course, uh, the PRA will not act without the consent or approval endorsement of the Provincial Reclamation Authority yes, also. Yes, yes, yes. So there are no two PRAs. <laughs> <laughs> CPRA here. <laughs> or PRA there. And PRA there. <laughs> okay. Uh, so how, uh, how many hectares involved in this particular reclamation project? How? How many hectares? How many? 1,500 1, hectares. Okay. Yes. But uh, there was also a plan to move <laughs> the uh, Mactan Simu International Airport. <laughs> ah, before there was a plan. But uh, um, I guess they have 25 years contract. Mm -hmm. in Lapu-Lapu, okay. yes, so, um, and it's not anymore for airport purpose. Oh, okay, okay. The reclamation of SM is for uh, business park mm -hmm, purposes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. how, how much is the sharing of uh, this proposed reclamation project of SM with the municipality? How uh, much do you own land after 
completion of no, the project? No, actually, there is this percentage given by PRA. Mm -hmm. Actually, we only have small share. Okay. But uh, it's we are after for the development, mm -hmm. not for the share. Mm -hmm. And the uh, taxes as well, mm -hmm. when there are already many businesses there. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why we, we just... Um, uh, go for that project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we, we will have maybe around um, 17 hectares. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, I see. Yes. So the, uh, for the municipalities? Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So how far is uh, Cordoba to the neighboring Bohol province or the nearest municipality of uh, the province of Bohol? From your municipality, Hitafe. Mayor Chu. Hitafe, sir. Yeah, Hitafe. Yes, um, around Two hours. Two hours. Uh, by slow craft. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. So there is also a plan from uh, of yeah, my father we heard, no? to, <laughs> to connect. Yes, to a connect. Village, a bridge. <laughs> so, it's uh, another you go to bridge. Another island, then. <laughs> I, I thought Bin Onido. It's not Bin Onido. It's Itape. Uh -uh. Okay. Yes, it's Itape. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. So uh, to connect that bridge, mm -hmm. uh, the the islets, the islands. Mm -hmm to Bohol, mm -hmm. I, I think it's feasible, mm -hmm. but it will take really time and money. Okay. Uh, so okay. we're looking for investors. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> now, uh, with, uh, you, you have a plan for uh, to uh, construct or to have your own uh, college and uh, university, hopefully, in your municipality. Yes, so in, the now, in the okay. area of our share, with SM. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I see. So now, students now uh, in your municipality goes to, of course, the uh, other, uh, the, the neighboring city. Yes, yes. Okay, and of course, Cebu City. But we also have now our Cebu, uh, our Cordova Public College. Mm -hmm. uh, it's already been there for 10 years. I see, mm -mm. I see. So mm -hmm. we have been producing quality teachers okay. from that college. I see. <laughs> now, uh, of course, the perennial problem also, aside from water, is the uh, uh, the uh, drugs and the other uh, uh, issues involving yes. our youth. So we'll discuss this more, uh, Mayor, after these reminders don't go away. <laughs>
Mm. Uh -oh. But not really in the municipal uh, in the municipality. Okay. I mean, um, the the high targets are mm -hmm. really not from Cordova. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh -uh. So, uh -huh. mura lang sila mulabay lang mm -hmm. mo adtog bohol mm -hmm. or adtog laing isla. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, dito lang kuno na mag-abot po dito. But they are really not from they are not from, uh, from our town. Uh, uh. Okay. But uh, we have many users. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 that's that's why already. we yeah. have many surrender uh -huh. surrenderies. Uh, there are uh, also uh, surrenderies. Uh, uh. I see. Mm, so, as, uh -huh. pero as to pushers, not mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, um, Maayo man ang dagan. We have lots of surrenderies. We have this program na magusab sa ilahang kinabuhi, and we we are monitoring them. So walak namo pasagdi. And in fact, I have this drug rehabilitation center project. It's under construction now. I have two buildings for this, and this is really for our drug surrenderies. To give them a regular a seminar, regular session and um, discussion with them, and um, also giving them livelihood pro uh, mm -hmm. pro uh, program, mm -hmm. so they can have the opportunity to to earn also, and they they will divert their attention. Mm -hmm. So with this program, mm -hmm. so dilit na ingon nga ma. Makuan masalaag. Masalaag. Mayor Teresa, you are married to a Korean national. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sure there are a lot of technical and financial assistance that you can always have or maduol or ma connect nimo with, of course, the assistance of your husband. Yes, yes. So you have some programs. Yes, my husband has been very supportive in any way he can. And also we have this unique program with some LGUs in Cordova, or in Korea. In Korea. Yes, and actually we have 10 sister cities in Korea already. And they are giving us the opportunity that our people can go to Korea at the same time, earn. Mm -hmm. so, so in an exchange program, a sort of exchange uh, program, or yes, can work? Yes, it, uh, it is supposed to be an exchange program, but mm. I, we don't have anything to <laughs> exchange. That's <laughs> why they are just asking people to go to Korea mm. from Cordova, and they will be trained there for farming and also for fishing, mm -hmm. just for three months, and mm -hmm. they have the allowances also. Mm -hmm. So aside from... Um, Going to Korea with but with tour, mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. um, can earn. They can earn. I see. So who will pay for the expenses, the board and lodging and the plane ticket? Uh, it's the, it's the LGU. LGU of yeah. the, yes. the uh, Korean LGU. Yes, sir. But um, from their allowances, they can also um, pay their tickets. Mm. Uh, so they can also buy their own food. Mm -hmm. But some LGUs are providing free. Or free food mm -hmm. and lodging. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. how, how many years have been that kind of uh, program? It's or been, I think, two years two already. Years? So, ubay ubay nang napanalid to? Yes, kung wala lang ang crisis, ah. na daghan na yung tang naka larga since January. Ah. Kay, kuan man, ah, nagkadaghan ang amu ang sister cities. Mm -hmm. So, Hopefully, mahuma na ang crisis. <laughs> what, what are the mechanics of choosing the candidate to visit or to uh, attend a particular uh, program or engagement in Korea? Uh, first Coming one, from your municipality. Yes, first one, we have to identify if these people are really from Cordova. Mm -hmm. So, these people also... Um, uh, must go training for training and seminar mm -hmm. especially they have to learn the basic korean language basic lang oh, basic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, and they have to be hard working also kay mm -hmm. ma maulaw sad ta yeah. mo sila uh, uh, mag mm -hmm. maglingkod lingkod lang mm -hmm. and uh, those who really uh, who are really interested to mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. and to work na dili lang suroy suroy mm -hmm. so para naatay ipakikapakita nga mm -hmm. dili mga tapulan ang mga pinoy so kana lang Bis mm -hmm. basically ang attitude good ang kuana mo uh, pangitaon 
especially nga kanang mga maayong tao dili kaning hilabtanon dili hilabtanon so, okay. we really we it's uh, it's a must nga honest sila mm -hmm. uh, to go to korea because they hate mga hilabtanon yami or tourist do you have some technical vocational uh, programs in your municipality yes, yes, sir. offered by the technical education That's skills the, in yes sir yes sir for our um, like sewing Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, continuous na na siya, I ang see. among sewing training. And we already uh, sent people to MAPS for mm -hmm. work. A lot of graduates already mm -hmm. from, skills, mm -hmm. from that skills training. Mm -hmm. And there are also big demand from MAPS. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, so, coming from the municipality? Yes, huh? yes, sir. Oh, yes. Uh, in fact, the municipality is the one who finance, not the TESDA, the one who finance for the teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but also, but for uh, sa sinugdanan, ang TESDA may nag-train. Mm -hmm. And then we have the teacher, and then the, that teacher continues to train. I see. Uh, uh, uh -huh. So even the TESDA pulled out na, mm -hmm. we, also, na we still continue. Yeah. Uh -uh. Okay. Right. And yes. every year na I graduate, uh -huh. yes. And then it's in situ certified mm. by TESDA. Mm. Okay, mm -mm. so good. So, kana lang sa among skills training, <laughs> but uh, naapay daghan, pero kana man lang mga diligyud gikontinue ba? Mm -hmm. Like massage, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and sa kanang salon, nga mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. of TESDA, mm -hmm. but not this not like this i see mm -hmm. uh, sustain okay. must sustain good like the sewing okay. skills training okay may uh, may answer is now uh, uh -huh. on this uh, extraordinary extraordinary times of uh, the covid-19 uh -huh. uh, pandemic uh, disease how did you cope up or how did you address the problem in your municipality nga di magkayo mo starring sa listahan sa probinsya di kay starring sir <laughs> well, um, uh, Governor Gwen Garcia really plays a big role sa pag-guide na mo, no? Sa mm -hmm. mga mayors, mayors. Mm -hmm. So I'm very thankful to our good governor. But then, um, the, some people of, in our town really uh, said that I'm that strict in implementing the mm -hmm. the border uh, control. control. Okay. Yes. So, wala gid nako lugwaki at okay. first because yeah. um, we don't know what is this mm. disease. But mm. um, uh, two months passed, mm -hmm. so we learned how to deal mm -hmm. with this crisis. How mm -hmm. to um, take care our um, ourselves, mm -hmm. not to be contaminated. Mm -hmm. So and. Already, our people, I think, is already educated about this. Okay, so, good. Uh, so, uh, kana lang. Yeah, it's uh, uh, and the immune system of uh, the people of Cordoba. <laughs> <laughs> because of Bacasis. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yes, with the cooperation good sa mga tao, oh, then oh. Uh, we made it, no? Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, prayers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think, uh, do you have COVID positive in your municipality? Um, uh, for the past two months, we only have two. Okay. But um, for the past week, mm. we have <laughs> three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, that one, the other one is in Cebu City. Mm -hmm. The other one uh, in Cordova and other one in uh, our detention center. I see. Yes, uh -huh. but um, they, ha they are for confirm confirmatory, mm -hmm. the, uh, the two the the one in the barangay mm -hmm. but um last yesterday i was informed that she is already negative okay na, uh, okay uh, na. so uh, ang kanina lang akong gihuwat ang naa sa detention center i see, uh, I see. Uh, but uh, okay. but uh, i told the people as long as we are asymptomatic mm -hmm. then there's not so much to worry okay basta di lang masakit gud ba uh, no but uh, only we have to be careful mm -hmm. sa ato ang pamilya mm -hmm. because we don't know it it doesn't affect that much to us but mm -hmm. to others who are vul vulnerable yeah. so kana lang mm -hmm. magbantay lang good and mm -hmm. maintain the physical distance <laughs> <Mayor Trish, laughs> observe the enough time <laughs> sir observe health statement. protocols <laughs>
<laughs> okay. May, may. <laughs> Our party statement or to the viewers, huwag na pa kayo ipuno. Okay, no? okay, uh, sir. For thank the municipality you. of uh, Cordoba, it's a great honor to yes. have our mayor here as our guest this evening. Mayor? Yes, sir. sir Art, thank you so much for having me here, for uh, inviting me to your show. It's really, if you say it's an honor to you, but it's, re it's really an honor to me and my privilege. Thank you so much to my TV and um, for Cordoba, uh, with, by, by God's grace, um, the promising town will be really uh, a dynamic town. And uh, it's a small town, but uh, we are really hoping that um, Cordoba will grow. Uh, not just by by economy, but also by land. <laughs> okay, we have this reclamation, but um, I I I pray that everything will be realized. It's all by God's grace, and for this crisis, uh, I am praying that um, we will all um, surpass this one, and we just have to be careful to observe health protocols and um, we have this health regimen and also uh, prayers for all of us so god bless us and we will fight covid by heading on and resuscitating our economy with tourism industry our municipal mayor honorable mary therese Sitoy Chu of the municipality of cordoba thank you very much mayor therese mayor Chu. And uh, this is your host, Art Barrett, of my politics. Manamili to lang umuingon, kasi samtang mohingos pang ilong sa tao. Iyang mga pangandoy, utingos bawat, huwag katapusan. Daging salamat, good evening, bye-bye.